Okay, now we're going to talk about permutations, and with permutations, order matters. And that's an important differentiation between combinations. With combinations, order doesn't matter. Permutations does matter. So the setup is differently, and it's been programmed into the calculator differently, and I'm going to show you both. So here we have, we have a total of five events, and we're taking it out of two different two different ways. All right. So here's mathematically, if you did it manually, you'd write the total factorial. And then under here, it would be the difference of those two factorial. So difference factorial. So five factorial is five times four times three times 2 times 1, 5 subtract 2, well, that's 3 factorial, 3 factorial. Oh, look at what I could have done up here. I could have stopped at 3 factorial because down here it's 5 subtract 2, and now look at the factor those 3 factorials cancel. So, because order matters, there are 20 different ways, 20 different permuta unique permutations of probability in this situation. So calculator, so since you guys in our class, we work with the T1 30 X Roman numeral 2 S, Right about here, there is a PRB button, and we're going to be using that button. So for this problem, right here, this is what you're going to type. This is the calculator. You're going to type 5. Then you're going to depress the PRB button, and, and you're, I think the first option is the permutation. So the permutation says in it looks like that. That's an N, that's an R. So and you're gonna you're gonna choose enter. So five permutation button enter, then you're gonna type two, and then you're gonna type enter again, and that should give you the result of 20. Manually, after you do this five factorial, you'd find the difference. 3 factorial, and then you would do what I, I did down here. You'd, you'd expand the 5 factorial until the numerator has the denominator factorial, then you cancel that. Now let's go down to combinations. So this is the weird thing. All right. The weird part about combina combinations, it says order doesn't matter. This is why it gets confusing. Because if you think about your locker and you have a combination lock, well, on a combination lock, order does matter. So a, com a physical combination is an example of a permutation. So that's weird. All right. So here's the mathematical setup when order doesn't matter. You take the total, 24 factorial. You still are going to do the difference. So 24 subtract 20 factorial in parentheses factorial. Then you're going to take that. So this is in, this is R. You're going to take that 20 and do 20 factorial. So now what you have is 24 factorial over 4 factorial times 20 factorial. Now, we could take the time to expand all of that. 24, 24, 23, times 22, times 21, times 20, 19. That would take too long. So what I'm going to do is have you expand until you get 20 factorial. So 24 times 23 times 22 times 21 times 20 factorial. And then go ahead and stop. Down here. We know we're going to have a 20 factorial. 
but we also have this four factorial. So the four factorial, I'm gonna write out, I'm gonna expand. So four factorial is four times three times two times one. I'm going to cancel. We still have these big numbers up here. Look at what we have down here. Four times three is 12, times two is 24, times one is 24. Now look at this 24, divide that 24, those cancel. And now all you have to do is multiply out 23 times 22 times 21, and you should arrive at 10,626. Now, when you type, so on this in your calculator, you're going to type, so this is the calculator strokes. Calculator, you hit the PRB button, you arrow over to the combination. So the combination op op uh, option says N and R. Um, you hit enter and then type 20 and then enter. And you might have to enter twice. And then that will, should get you that result. Okay, I think that's all I'm going to do with permutations. Yep. All right. Well, here, state if uh, the order matters or doesn't matter. Okay, we have to decide is this a permutation or a combination? Remember, permutation order matters. A batting team order for eight players on a nine-person team. Well, if you talk to any coach, they're going to decide the order. So order matters. This would be a permutation. Let's do this example. A group of 14 people need to take an elevator to the top floor. They will go in groups of seven. Does it really matter who... I mean, unless there's some dire emergency, but in general, it doesn't matter. If we just need groups of seven, order doesn't matter on this one. So this would be an example of a combination. So this would be, if you were to type into your calculator, uh, 14, and then we're taking it, 14 combination in groups of seven. Over here, it would be nine permutation and then eight. Okay, let's see. Now this one's interesting. Selecting which 10 players will be in the batting order on a 12 person team. Well, here's the deal. The answer key is going to call this a combination. And maybe in the theoretical world, that's correct. But I still contend that if you're talking about a team of players with a coach, a coach is always going to have an opinion. And so in the real world, this is probably actually a permutation. Um, and I'm sure somebody smarter at math than I am that would say, no, it really is a combination. Somebody who's both a coach and a mathematician, um, but the answer key will tell you it's a combination because there's 10 out of 12 people. Um, and remember, there's only um, nine people on the field at any given time, right? Nine people on the field. So that might have something to do with it. All right, that's it for this video.